Hello everyone, I'm in Aurelia. Today behind me is Aurelia's Driver Examination Center. Today we're doing G Fool Road Test. We're gonna give you all the tips and tricks you need to pass your test. We're gonna go through the actual route, both highway and the city. And we're also giving away 10 in-car lessons with the professional driving instructor. To win that, uh, please watch the video till the end and find out all the contest rules. Now, when you come in and you park your car, I recommend you park your car backwards like this so that when your road test starts, you're just going forward. All right, so we went inside, we registered for our G Fool exam. Now we are here in the car waiting for examiner to show up. And today in this mock up exam, I have my friend here with me who is an expert in this field and he's gonna help us and uh, guide us through this process hello so when examiner will come to your car and uh, they want to verify your ID and uh, they ask you like uh, what's your name what's your address make sure you know your postal code uh, what's your birthday and uh, then they ask you to start your car mm -hmm. and they go in around your car to make a circle check uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, to make sure all lights are working properly and you have good tires in mm -hmm. your car and they ask you to make a signal left signal right uh, brakes on and off horn for me and uh, then they see then they sit down inside your car and um, ask you to sign the paper or right now it's a uh, iPad so you sign on iPad and examiner will start the exam okay uh, so a couple questions on the car yeah if your car it, let's say has a windshield crack yeah no exam will be canceled yeah exam will be canceled because it's safety issue is going to be terminated so make sure you have good tires you have good no tires. cracks on your windshield full tank of gas full mm -hmm. tank of gas it's a good idea to go to the gas station before the road test and make sure all your lights signal lights and brake lights are working properly mm -hmm. and uh, can you take uh, someone else's car on the exam yeah sure so exam can. center does not provide any any cars, any cars for you. So you have to arrange your your own car but you can bring rental rental yeah friends car friends, family, family car, car. Yeah doesn't have to be the instructor's you know driving center car with two pedals yeah no, no you, yeah you can use your you can driving use instructor car with a uh, dual brakes and second mirror but like you can use your own car for your family friends your mom and dad brother sister mm -hmm. yeah you can use it like mm -hmm. and uh, when you come for the road test for registration you don't need to stay in line you just go straight and uh, say the person in the in the front door that like you have a scheduled appointment for the road test and go straight for registration. And in the winter, do you have to have winter tires? No, it's not mandatory, not mandatory. Uh, here in Ontario. You can you can use all seasons, uh, but in winter time, it's a good idea to have uh, winter tires on your car anyway. Mm -hmm. And if you have engine light check. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, it's gonna go through. Yeah, uh, it's it's good idea that you have you have you don't you don't have a red light in your car, but engine check that's okay. If you have windshield fluid low and it's yellow, it's okay, right? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. And what about uh, like if you wanna if it's a sunny day like today and you wanna put on the sunglasses and yeah, like, my personal you... recommendation I like don't use your sunglasses for the road test you may ask examiner like would you mind my sunglasses but uh, examiner they want uh, to see your eye movements how you check in your rear view how you're going through intersection through intersections and you check in left right left so don't use uh, sunglasses for the road test mm -hmm. unless it's prescribed then you have to use like uh, glasses or Contacts. So if you have a prescribed and you have a condition marked on your drive test uh, on your driving um, uh, uh, license. license, then you have to bring it. If, yes. you, if you don't bring it, it's going to be terminated. Cancelled exam. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, what about gloves? Can you wear gloves on yeah. exam? 
it's up in to the you. winter or like those driving gloves yeah you, you can, can use it like no problem okay and in terms of like driving you know in the winter in the rain or snow you just slow down according to yeah the main, the main idea for the road test is your safety safety driving on the road not only for you for the for but for the other drivers and cars on the road so safety is the main idea if road conditions not so good is if weather conditions not so good just drive as you feel safe uh, and it's regular practice on the highway for example speed limit is 100 kilometers per hour but if it's heavy rain all traffic is going slowly so you're going with traffic flow mm -hmm. so again this main idea is safety mm -hmm. and you obviously like don't don't want to forget to like buckle up buckle up handbrake yeah um you check in your rear view your every rear 10 view. seconds uh this rear view mirror every 10 seconds you said yeah every 10 seconds and you want to do chin up chin up like exaggerate a little bit your movement the examiner will see clearly that you check in your rear view and you wanna uh, you wanna be present and acknowledge what they're saying, right? Yeah, if it's you a say, good. Turn, it's a, turn right here. You say yes, of course, I yeah. got it. It's a good idea to be nice and polite with the examiner and acknowledge that what they want. If they say okay, change your lane left. You say yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. If it's lady, just oh, okay, sure, of course. Just mm -hmm. like acknowledge that like they may want you to know what you what you have to do. Right, and. Uh, you don't want to say you're like nervous and scared. That no, I don't recommend. <laughs> you, yeah, that you got this. You're Sometimes excited, but... examiners will ask you like, "Are you nervous today?" Don't say you're nervous. You feel confident and you feel comfortable. You did uh, lots practice. of practice and you have experience to drive on the highways. And it's uh, yeah, don't say you're nervous at all. And uh, when you go for registration, there is a two uh, questions. Uh, how many times in the last three months you've been on the highways? My recommendation to you, like, say, more than 100 times, more than 15 kilometers each trip. And we have two kinds of highways. Highway 80 series, where speed limit is 80, and highway 400 series, where speed limit is 100. So three months, if you're going back and forth, like, twice a day, yeah. At least 100 times you've been on the highways, you have experience, you drive more than 15 kilometers each trip, you need to, to change the lanes and make a speed adjustments. It's like you like got experience. Yeah, um, okay. so buckle up, don't forget to buckle up, and let's go for the driving test. So your test should be, it's going to be two parts. One part is city driving, another part is the highway driving. Two hands on the yeah. wheel. Two hands on the steering wheel. Your One steering... hand, uh, it wouldn't be good, right? Like No, yeah, use, yeah. use both hands. Mm -hmm. Your steering wheel should be always under control. And Music, uh, you turn it off so you can yeah. hear them better. Yeah. Um, and, and you want to make the car comfortable for them. So in the summer, AC. AC in the winter in time the winter, it should be warm and heating inside. Yep. Inside warm, defrost your windows. Uh, make sure it's clear visibility. You don't have snow on the roof. Um, yeah. Your 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 windows are not foggy in rainy conditions. Yeah. Right. Just make sure it's nice and comfortable, clear, uh, comfortable inside for them. Yeah. So, if you're ready, let's go right. Okay. Put on D, showing signal right. Make sure no cars, no pedestrians. If you have some, just let them go first. And we're exiting uh, from examination center uh, parking, oh, yeah. parking lot. Or and return right. right to... Okay, I'm gonna wait for... I'm going to turn right to Leckley Street and then we're going to turn to Fitton's Road to the left. Uh, in Aurelia, in this city and any city in Ontario, if you have no speed limit signs, it's uh, speed limit is 50 by default. You're cool. going to check for any yep. pedestrians? Yep. 
yeah. and here we're not going to change to the right because no, the lane is ending. In this lane. Yeah, stay in this lane because right lane is going to end. But usually you turn to the right because uh, after left turn because right lane is for yeah. the driving, right? Yes. If you make a left turn in left lane and then you have to switch your lane to the right by yourself, examiner will not going to ask you to change your lane to the right after left turn. You have to do it by yourself. Here I'm going to assume it's 50. It's 50, but here's the school zone. It's very interesting sign here. 40 when flashing. 40 right when now flashing. it's not flashing. It's okay. no no school time right now. Summer time, and all kids on vacation, um, on the holidays, <laughs> on vacation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but if it's flashing, go 40. Yeah. Okay, we're going straight till first Checking. traffic light. Checking you check left, right, left when you're crossing intersection, and this traffic light, West Street, we turning right. Showing signals, mirror, blind spot, MSB. Yeah, and we have inlet for the right turn. So we have yellow, we're gonna slow down and stop. Yeah. So we have some pedestrians here. Yeah. We can make a right turn on red if no cars from the left, but there is a car. Okay, okay we don't yeah. have cars because yeah. it's green, yeah. green. Green arrow. Okay, we're turning into the right lane. Yeah, we're turning to the West Street North, going straight. And here, examiner, uh, from this street, we're going to enter to highway. Yeah. Again, speed limit is 50. If you have chance, speed up till 50, speed up till 50. Don't be too slow. Yeah. Checking left, right, left when crossing intersections. And we're gonna be under highway. We're gonna go south. 11, uh, south toward Bay. And examiner will say you that like, okay, we're gonna enter highway 11, south toward the Bay. Maximum speed limit is 100 kilometers per hour. Uh, make sure you accelerate till 100. If highway is going good and you merge on traffic on a, on a main lane in highway with speed limit of 100. If all traffic flow going slowly, then you have accelerate till traffic flow speed and merge into traffic. Okay, no one on the right, we can turn on the yeah. right. Uh, and if you have a slow moving vehicle or heavy um, tractor trailer in front of you, Probably this truck not gonna speed up till 100 on this uh, acceleration lane. He's probably not gonna speed up till 80 and then it merge with 80. So you follow, you just follow this truck. But if you have nothing in front of you, accelerate, speed up till 100. You have to do it pretty energetically yeah. here because yeah. the, the lane is not that long. Yeah. And make a signal in, in advance. advance. And again, like a formula, mirror, signal, blind spot. Yeah, he's merging at 80. Yeah. Okay, we're going straight. Okay, and here examiner will ask you to make a lane change to the left if you have chance. Mm -hmm. If it's safe to do so. And he said, okay, change your lane left, please, if it's safe. Okay. If it's not safe, don't do this. It's up to you. Yeah say no too many uh, too much yeah. traffic and I don't feel uh, safe, feel safe. Yeah. Okay. and let's make a lane change to the right if it's safe okay okay and we're gonna be exit it's exit one sorry three to cold water Road. Cold water road. You exit from highway and here we have recommended speed sign 50. So plus 10 from this recommended posted speed is a good is a good speed limit. And this is exit 133. Yeah, yeah exit 133, slow down and the first coming traffic light we're gonna turn left. We turn in and we enter in highway again. So here we have one lane for left turn so yeah that's the only one lane. the only lane is to yeah. be in this one yeah you have to be in this lane so after after we turn we're gonna switch to lanes if it's two lanes yep but it looks like it's looks like it's just one here we'll see 
but if it's two lanes we switch and then yeah, we go back on the highway again yeah we're gonna yeah we're just turning and going back to the highway yeah if your nose is itchy you can scratch yeah, your nose yeah. okay. but at least you know, one hand should be on the steering wheel so your steering wheel should be always under control okay. and your speed should be always under control so control your speed constantly so right now it's 340 and it's not too bad there's not too much traffic which is good yeah here's uh, it really is not as busy as uh, toronto yeah okay so here's two lanes we turn into this one automatically and then we switch, switch by default and here examiner will say okay we're gonna be enter highway 11 north okay <laughs> show the signal Recommended speed 30, 30 is gonna be like a little bit slow, plus then from recommended 40 is gonna be good speed at this curve. And here you can see that highway is going good. Acceleration lane is pretty long, so accelerate to 100. No one, no one in front. Here I'm going and 50, and then here you want to show the signal. Yep. Accelerate energetically to 100. at 100 okay that's good okay we're going straight and examiner will ask you to make a lane change to the left if it's safe so change your lane left please if it's safe okay good and let's make a lane change to the right if it's safe mirror signal blind spot and then you switch your lane and make sure your car completely going in a new lane and then you off your signal don't off your signal too early okay and we're gonna be exit uh, exit 135 okay this is the west. back back where we started yeah the highway again back to west street north it's pretty short uh, highway right yeah as the distance is about two kilometers each way Recommended 50, you're slowing down gradually and first coming traffic light, we're gonna turn right. Yeah, it's actually not traffic light, but like we have additional lane here, we're turning right. Okay, and here we just merge. Okay, and, and we're going straight. Again, 50 speed limit 50 by default we have speed limit sign here if you can look a little and bit here we're gonna change the lanes right because yeah. it's exiting yeah an examiner will ask you to make a lane change to the left if not if examiner will not ask you to make a lane change to the left and you can see that your lane is gonna be in yeah then you do you it. switch your lane by yourself yeah Don't... so there is a sign and you can say hey i'm seeing are we going straight I'm seeing that the the yeah. lane that we are going to be in right now, we're in right now, is ending. Yeah. I'm. I want to switch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's it for highway part, and right now is city part. And you remember, in city part, examiner will ask you to make a three-point turn, parallel parking, and roadside stop. Make sure you know where is the four-way signal button or emergency button in your car. Okay. Again, another sign, uh, 40 uh, when flashing, right now it's not flashing, so we keep going 50. Check Here's uh, one lane uh, for us, one lane for incoming traffic, and here is the center lane, speed limit is 50. When you see the speed limit sign, check your speed. Yeah, check your speed. Make sure your speed under control all the time. So if you're speeding like 10 kilometers over, you probably will fail, right? Yeah. Uh, speed limit 50. You can go 51, 53, uh, 48. But if you go in 55 plus, examiner will gonna put mistake. If it's gonna be plus 10, you're gonna fail. Okay, we're going straight till Brand Street. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna make a turn at Brand Street West East. So here we're, we're, we we only have one lane, so 
there's no lane changes. Okay, make sure you check in your rear view. Every 10 seconds, when you're crossing intersections, you're checking left, right, left. Mm -hmm. Okay, and change your lane left, and this traffic light, we're going to turn left. Brand Street East. So red light, we stop on before the stop line before stop line make sure you 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 can see pedestrian walk it's a good idea mm -hmm. don't be scared don't don't block the pedestrian. pedestrian walk yeah okay now it's green we can move up a little Advance bit in the Advance. middle check for and, pedestrians and also yeah mirror signal blind spot right blind spot check for bicycles and right here we have speed limit sign 40 begins and here we're gonna do like a roadside stop and all the exercises yeah um, okay so this stop sign we're gonna turn right always stop peter street north and we're turning right flashing red means always stop it's okay. just yeah no, em emphasize no, no, no. always stop okay and let's make a roadside stop here okay showing signal or emergency stop putting on brake um, we're gonna put this emergency sign uh, yeah. signal um, handbrake uh, yeah. and it looks like it's downhill, downhill. so we're gonna put the wheels to the right yeah towards the curb towards the curb that's right okay so if it's a uh, straight road if it's uh, downhill it's to the right to the left it's only if it's uphill with the curb with the curb yeah if it's uphill without the curb it's also to the right to, to the right yeah so easiest way to think about it is like always put the wheels to the right except when you have uphill and no curb with curb Oh, uphill, uphill with, with curb. curb. That's the only left. The rest is all to the right. Okay, let's go straight. Okay, turn off the emergency signal. People forget to do that, yeah, right? One of most common mistakes. Put on uh, D, showing signal. Right, waiting for the car. Signal left. Signal left. Yep. Make sure it's no cars. Okay, we're going straight and let's make a right turn first intersection. Okay, okay, let's make a three point turn here. Okay, showing signal to the right, make sure no cars in front, behind signal left yeah when you're making three point turn no parallel parking don't touch the curb okay put on rear signal to the right always signaling when you're backing up look make backwards sure, yep physically look at the back again you don't want to touch the curb put on d signal left okay and this stop sign we're turning right again signal right and the only thing left, I guess, is like parallel parking. Parallel parking, yep. Okay. Okay. And let's make a parallel parking with this car. Okay. Make sure you practice parallel parking a lot. With different, different cars, minivans, pickup trucks, small cars, uh, uh, long and white cars because you don't know what kind of car is going to be on yeah, the road this is and so <laughs> yeah we have a special video it's going to be like you know uh, disc description uh, how to practice and to make it perfect to make it parallel parking it's really yeah. good video okay and then we put on d just to move forward a little bit yep make the wheels uh well put on p and brake and wheels to the right because it's still downhill here yep, yep. That's it. That's good. The main idea, don't touch the curb. Sometimes examiner will open the door. 
and check the distance between your car and, uh, and the curb. Mm -hmm. Ideal distance is 30 centimeters or one foot. But the main idea, don't touch the curb. If you feel you're going, gonna touch the curb, like just like stop, go back and forth, fix your position. Yep. Okay. Okay, that's it for the city driving. Let's get out from here and you're going back to examination center. Make the wheel straight. Uh, put on rear signal left because we're gonna move. Our okay. car is moving. Mm -hmm. Gonna move backwards. Put on D. Signal left is still on. It's a car in front. We'll let them pass. Yeah, wait for all cars patiently. Okay. And we're gonna go. Okay, always stop. You stop before stop line. If you have no stop line, you stop before sidewalk. Make sure you don't want to block the sidewalk for pedestrians. If no stop line, no sidewalk, you stop before border of the road. And um, yeah, make sure you make made a full stop, like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, going straight. have parking so make sure there's like enough space right if somebody somebody's getting out or yeah. not driving too close to them yeah. and you going straight till uh, Colborn Street East okay if somebody is turning here yeah okay we can drive around them there's yeah we can space Signal. Again, if no speed limit signs, it's 50. But here we don't yeah. have a chance. Yeah, speed and uh, this traffic light, Col Colborn Street East, we're gonna turn left. Okay, just showing signal. Uh, by the way, if you're going on the road test, you're driving on the streets and there's a, like police, firefighters or ambulance coming with hazard signals on, sirens on, you have to pull over to the right. Mm -hmm. okay. Here we're gonna automatically switch to the right without the examiner saying anything because we have to be in this lane, right? Yeah, and then examiner will ask you to make a lane change to the left and let's make a left turn on front street. So this coming traffic light, we're gonna turn left. Okay, we have green, oh, yellow. Okay. Full stop, and here we cannot turn on We we'll have red. to wait till green yeah. light. So once again, police, firefighters, ambulance. If they come in with sirens and hazard signals on, you pull over to the right, wait for them uh, until they pass you and not don't follow them less than 150 meters. Let them go a little bit farther and then you go. Yeah. And it's even uh, applies if they're coming on, on oncoming yeah. traffic. Yeah. Even, even if they're not coming from behind you, they're yeah. coming on oncoming traffic, you still s slow down and stop. Yeah, both ways. Both. The same with uh, school buses. If school bus stop to drop off kids or to pick up kids, you have to stop 20 meters uh, before the school bus and it doesn't matter if it's your side of the road or it's opposite side of Unless the road. Unless it's a highway and it's yeah. completely divided, right? yeah. then you don't yeah. have to stop. <laughs> okay. Right, we're turning left, no pedestrians. Yeah. No speed limit signs. So okay, we suppose so it's 50 by default. Okay. And we're going straight. Some pedestrians here, so you have to wait for them to cross the road, right? Yeah. If pedestrians crossing the road, let them if they coming towards you, so let them step on the curb. If it's coming from your side, so make sure as they pass like middle of the road, like well behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially pay attention for kids. Okay. Kids are unpredictable. Okay, check left, right, left. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're gonna go 50. Go 
going straight crossing intersections check left right left rear view speed limit is good just control your speed here we're turning right and it's at 30 recommended so we can go 30 yeah 30 i think is good here it's pretty and sharp turn let's make a left and we're making a left to Blackley Street again speed limit is 50 by default and we're going straight to back to back to examination center on exa in examination center examiner will ask you to make a front in parking to the left there is an angle parking so practice this parking it's a good idea you make it from the first shot but if not then you can go back and forth to fix your position your car should be in between in the parking spot in between two lanes and um, should be enough distance for you and for your examiner to get out of the car yeah and that's gonna be the last one but you should be prepared to do backward back parking too in case yeah. you know you have somebody yeah. who wants to test you um, yeah. practice uh, backwards back parking front parking back parking to the right and back parking to the left and uh, right now uh, lots of cars they have uh, cameras backup camera but sometimes examiner will just block the view of your camera so no, make they sure hold the arm they yeah with the, with the, with make the sure <laughs> you'll be able to do this without looking at the camera the same with the parallel parking so practice parallel parking a lot make sure you can do it without the camera view yeah, yeah practice uh, a lot with different different cars okay, okay so we are approaching approaching the uh, driving examination center let's make a right turn we're going into the driving examination center plaza yeah and let's make a left okay. and let's make a front in parking beside this brown car beside the brown car okay yep. all right that's good park and your car park the car put on p and brake yeah turn off the car yeah and here examiner will say okay you pass your road test congratulations Yay. yeah go inside the <laughs> examination give me, give me give me the uh, uh, license <laughs> and get your temporary license and your okay. new plastic card gonna be sent gonna send you by mail uh probably you're gonna get it in two or three weeks mm -hmm. right now that's it for the road okay. test and uh it's not too bad it's uh Yep. Within half an hour, usually it's it's done. Yeah, the duration of the road test is probably around maybe 22, 25 minutes. If you stop three times on the red traffic lights, it's gonna be 25 minutes, but usually it's 22 minutes. So right now it's end of the day. We are like at four o'clock, but the best time you would say during um, the day when there's less traffic? Yeah. After morning rush hour, after probably 9 o'clock in the morning, my favorite time 9.30, 10.50, 11.50, up to 2 o'clock, yeah. maybe 2.30, because after 3 p.m. school finish and school buses on the road and much more traffic on the road. It's a good idea if, if, you're, if during the road test uh, it's not too much cars on the road. Uh, you have time and distance to change your lanes and it's it's just easier yeah and uh, when like in what case could the exam be cancelled okay uh, exam will be cancelled if it's uh, for example your car not is, is like in a good shape you have cracks on the windshield yeah. and your lights doesn't work or if you are like for example forget a uh, your glasses prescription glasses yeah and uh, 
Yeah, your tires may be not in good shape sometimes. We check in your tires too, so make sure your tires in good conditions. Yeah. Okay. And uh, in terms of like most common ways to fail the test, like your G full test, what would be some of the common mistakes people yeah. make? Most common mistakes is yeah, you don't stop on the stop sign. So make sure you stop full completely stop. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, no rolling at all. So make sure you stop fully on a stop sign. Another one, uh, you don't want to touch the curb. If you mm -hmm. touch the curb when you're making three point turn parallel parking, uh, it's gonna be fail. And uh, the third most common mistake, if you over speeding, if speed limit is 40 or 50 and you're going past 10 from the posted speed, it's gonna be fail too. So this is three most common, most common mistakes. Okay, and what are some uh, some tips to pass the exam? Like you okay. definitely want to, I yeah. don't know, like practice. Practice all, uh, all parallel parking a lot, mm -hmm. uh, backwards parking, uh, practice entering to highway acceleration on acceleration lane till 100. It should be pretty much energetic. Yeah. And, uh, being and we like, have, yeah, we have all these videos that, that would help, like backward parking, um, parallel, parking. parallel parking. Just watch those videos. There's definitely tips on how to do them um, mm -hmm. more efficient and right at the front, like from the first time, right? Yeah. Be nice to examiner and um, just acknowledge the comments and uh, drive nice and polite. Don't be, rush. Don't be kind on the road. Don't be in rush to do is is to get like, this over with. <laughs> yeah, as much as fast as possible. No, just take your time. And if something happens on the on the road, just let the stupid go first. Sometimes you have unpredictable situations then you go with the, your common sense the main idea of the road test is safety yeah um, yeah if somebody is like not letting you go on the stop sign you came first but they are going let them go yeah. if somebody is backing out from their house they don't see you even though you have right away you're on the main road like if you see it and you can prevent an accident make sure you do that yeah yeah okay and drive according to the road conditions and weather conditions if it's rainy or heavy rain if it's snow if it's road conditions like a little bit icy or just drive as it's safe just drive slowly and uh, take your time and if you fail the exam in this case you don't get your g full you, you still have your g2 yeah. but if your g2 expires you have then to go, you, you have to start all over again. You have to go to G1 and to G1 and then G2 and then G4. But if it's if you still have uh, time, so it's valid for five years G2, right? Yeah. If you still have time, you can rebook your test within ten days. Within ten days, yeah. After ten days, you can book another appointment and go for the next road test. Yeah. Another tip I I saw that you have the driving uh, test uh, marking schema. For, yeah, for for G full, and it lists all everything that that's that they're marking on, and yeah. they have check boxes. And if you miss your blind spot, they put like a little X. Oh, yeah. you, you made this mistake. Yeah. You made that mistake. Yeah, there I is think a, that's super helpful. Super, yeah. Just make sure you know what uh, what they want you to do, because uh, there is only eight check boxes for the blind spot. If you miss the blind spot eight times, that's it. You're done. Uh, examiner will not gonna pass you on the road test and certain mistakes so, are like you can only make one or two yeah, like it's only yeah. two check boxes yeah so i'm gonna leave this uh link it's um on the, this marking schema you can download from uh, drivetesthelp.ca so again www.drivetesthelp.ca um you will be able to download marking schema from there I think the other useful thing is the route that we went through today. You can also download that. It's a GPS route. So you can put it on your phone and you can go and practice this route. Uh, and we'll basically GPS will tell you, hey, turn right here, turn left here. Uh, it will also show you where you will be doing your three point turn, where you will be doing your parallel parking. And you can come here, practice before the exam. Yeah, it's a good Be idea. Be familiar with the route. Maybe there's construction. Maybe there's like come earlier. 
yeah. practice using the GPS route um, and uh, yeah you will be you will be much in much more better spot like mentally right you're not gonna be as you're gonna be more confident yeah. because you went yeah. through the route yeah you know where they're gonna ask you to turn you'll feel much more confident doing the confident test. Confident and comfortable. Yeah, you know what to expect. There's yeah. construction zone if just in case something happened. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's it for our uh, GFU road test. The only thing left is the contest. Um, we are giving away 10 lessons. These are 10 in-car lessons um, with huge value, like Six, five, six, five hundred, six hundred bucks, yeah. um, and you can use them for yourself. You you can use it for you can transfer it to anyone you want, right? Yeah, your friends and family. Your friends and family. Um, the main idea is to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video with uh, with your friends on on Facebook, and uh, well, we're gonna put uh, the contest rules underneath this video so just check out this contest rules um and uh yeah we're gonna announce the winner shortly uh hopefully this video was helpful if it was helpful please share your your feedback with us if you pass the test uh, from the first time let us know as well in the comments whatever your experience was if you made mistakes um if you i don't know whatever route you take uh, took just share with others, I think it will be super helpful. Yeah, and uh, we have another road test centers. Uh, yeah, if your road test uh, is not here anymore, it got canceled, rescheduled, and now you're taking it in Barry or some other center, there is a playlist with all the videos for those centers, so check out those videos as well, if, yeah, if it's in yeah. a different location. Yeah, it's going to be another uh, announcement for for the contest on our Facebook page. Yeah, uh, drive join, test. The, join the Facebook group. Um, drive there's test help. Drive test help on Facebook as well. Um, there's a lot of helpful materials. Even if it's, you know, if you, you've, you've done your test, um, it, you know, somebody who's doing the test, you can point them uh, to those uh, free resources. Yep. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.